Hey everybody, this is my review on Ninjago episode 43, The Greatest Fear of All, and episode 44, The Corridor of Elders. The finale of Ninjago, the Tournament of Elements season, um, which is episode 44. This is just like, you know, every episode came out today, so I'm just putting two in one video here. This is my last review of the tournament season, so I didn't expect my tournament season reviews to even be close to done. But they are done now, after this. You can see all the Elemental Masters have gotten their dragons. And you can see the, the ninja go to see Pythor to see on how to stop Chen and all. And apparently, since Pythor is a pure anachondri, his sweat or whatever, DNA or whatever it is with him, can keep... Um, a created anachondri, a full anachondri forever. So Chen wants to get Pythor so then he can always be an anachondri and he'll never ever be a person again. He wants to be an anachondri forever, you know? And yeah. So the ninja are in the city. They get back to Ninjago City. We don't, you know what I'm upset about though? We heard Cyrus on the radio and, um, I think it's this episode. No, I think it's episode 44. Episode 44, we hear, hear Cyrus again, but we don't see him since episode 35. And that upsets me, because Cyrus, I really liked Cyrus. He was, a, he was a really good character. And they didn't really have much in this season. I mean, I know he was more of a rebooted type of character. But, I mean, I, I would have at least hoped to see him a little more. But, you know... I guess they can't have tons of characters in it all the time. But, yeah. So they're in the city and all, and then they're, they keep going back to um, Nia's, hit, Nia's um, undercover little samurai X-cave um, out in the desert or something. And all the elemental masters are keep meeting there and figuring out how to figure out and defeat Chen and all. And... They, they, um, they see that there's trucks heading out now from the, um, Anachondri, the new Anachondri, and they go to, like, follow and stop them, but they find out that the trucks are empty, so, um, yes, the trucks are empty. And also, the ninja go to see Pythor, he's puny and he's in a prison, the prison is full of old, some of their old enemies, even the big stone warrior that we thought fell in the big hole in episode 20. But apparently, they found him. Apparently, there must have been a bottom. Because if there was a bottom, there had to be a bottom to at least get him. So he is in the prison as well. I don't know how they can contain him. But he's there. A Nindroid is there. Captain Soto is there. Um, some of the skeletons are there. I don't think there's any snakes there, really. Because they've tried to go on straight and good now. Um, Pythor, he seems like he's gone good, too. He's not really trying to do anything like take over, at least at the moment. Um, this season, he looks like he's doing pretty good. He, he's, doing, he's helping them out quite a bit. Um, yeah, so episode 30... 30 no, not 30s anymore. Episode 43 was sort of like an episode where it was just them in the city. And they were figuring out what was all happening here. Chen started to take over villages and stuff, you know, and with his anachondri. And he was making his way across Ninjago. And, yeah. He was just making his way across Ninjago. All their, all his warriors were now created and new an Anachondri warrior. So these are all new Anachondri. Besides Pythor, of course. But they're all new Anachondri. And... Yes, yeah, so... Pythor is the only pure Anachondri left. And all the ninja have their energy, power... Dragon's there, you could see Griffin Turner's dragon was there as well. So, I mean, he's the master of speed, but he still has a dragon because he's got his elemental power. So, Sensei Ri is reunited with Zane as well, so you could see that there. 
Um, anyone who hasn't reunited with Zane yet, they did in this episode, probably, basically. But Zane is sort of together with them again. He is part of their team again, and he's together. And the mystery is basically solved for him. He is now the Titanium Ninja, and he is back. Zane is fully back. So we have Zane, the Titanium Ninja, Master of Ice, back. So that's real nice. Um, and Garmadon is changed into his Anachondre form still, along with Skylar because of the curse, the spell that Chen has put out. And, and then that leads... And I think that I think I did. I think I sort of covered most of episode forty three. Now to episode forty four. The final episode of the Tournament of Elements season. So episode forty four, the corridor of elders. Um apparently that the corridor corridor of elders is like a little can like a little I don't know, like a canyon or something. But it's like, it's it's a formation. And they're trying to, the Serp, the Anacondri and Chen are trying to make it through there so they can keep their, you know, their reign of terror and they're, they're trying to take over still, you know. And the ninja want to stop them from doing that. So they kind of get all lined up there. They get as many people as they can help, even civilians they get. The ninja gets civilians to help them as well, along with the elemental masters and all, to fight these anachondri and stop them from coming. Well, these anachondri are really, really strong. And they're hard to stop. They've been told to be the strongest anachondri known. And they sure are. Um... Out of tons of civilians and the elemental masters, Anachondri still made it through. And they didn't know what else to do. So Pythor found something in the spell book from Klaus, which Klaus is now gone. He was just he was thrown in the portal thing in episode forty two. But in Klaus's spell book, Pythor found something that could maybe um get the Anachondri gone. Or stop this anacond this new anachondri tribe, and he he's still small here, and he kind of rides on a rat. It's kind of funny, you know. He's riding in on a rat or something, and then he tells Lloyd he has something that he needs to show his father. And apparently, within the spell book, it says that the original anachondri generals would not like to see what these new imposter anachondri are doing. Chen Chen's anachondri are the imposter ones. And the old anachondri generals are the ones that were banished. And those are real anachondri. Pure anachondri. So the thing in the spell book says that the anachondri would not like that. So it says that it can get these Anachondri general spirits or something back into Ninjago, even though they were banished. But there has to be a catch to getting to getting them back and free back in Ninjago to stop this, to, to stop Chen's terror. The Anachondri generals originally, the leader is Arcturus. Yes, Arcturus, but. General Arcturus and all his generals never meant for any um, war or fighting. They wanted peace. The Anachondri, all they wanted was peace back then. But that was like way back in the Serpentine War. But Chen and him, Chen started both the wars. And like the new war is now. And Chen started the new war and the old war. So the Anachondra never really wanted a war to fight at all. So getting these new Anachondra would be difficult. So the only way to get them back is to replace them in their little um, area where they were with the person who put them there. 
And in episode um, 40, we saw who put them there. It was Garbodon. So Garbodon, he had Lloyd read a spell. And Garbodon got sent up into the portal, as you can see right there. He sacrificed himself, got the Anaconda General's spirits or whatever back. The spirits sent down and got ri cursed the new Anaconda and sent them up into the portal. And then, then that was it. The fighting was over. The Anaconda General's spirits came to the sh uh, new Destiny's Bounty. Um, made Pythor big again, said congratulations to him, he, and he did real well, and he helped out a lot, and they also congratulated Lloyd for his brave fighting and all that, you know. And, yeah. And then in the end, the ninja are sitting enjoying tea by a fire, remembering Garmadon, while some workers carve in the... the carve in basically his face but I mean they carve Garmadon's body and face you know they carve him into the rock in the corridor of elders so they carve him there in a memory so in a memory of Garmadon in an honor for Garmadon for what he did and what he has done because Garmadon is gone as far as we know now, because we haven't seen it anymore, Garmadon is gone. Um, I, I, th I honestly think it would be more difficult to bring Garmadon back than it was to bring Zane back, because Zane was a robot. There was ways they made it so like he rebuilt himself and all. Um, but Garmadon would be a more difficult character to bring back if you get rid of him. So, right now, I honestly think we'll see him again, but I don't know if he'll be staying as a character. Because where he, th I think he went is what I'm to talk about next. I am going to talk about what we saw at the end of the episode, the last seconds of the episode. So here it is. The character we saw at the end of episode 44, Moro. Now, if you've seen some of the new Ninjago 2015 second story waves, sets, and all that, you'll see Moro is a character coming. And he's not a normal character, like some normal enemy. He's totally something different than the ninja have ever seen. It looks like he's some sort of spirit sort of guy, a ghost. Ghost, spirit, same thing. A ghost. Um, and the only way he, I think, he got out from when these portals were open. This port, wh wherever the portals were open. Garmadon's, I think it was from the one where Garmadon went in and the generals came out. But I think Moro came from that. Because this happened right at the end of the episode. When the ninja were saying, the, um, we faced all these enemies that we faced and all, that Cole was saying. And then, it kind of like, they were just talking about who can really defeat us or something. I think that's what they were doing. But something with that. And then, it showed Moro. Uh, we don't know much about Moro yet at all, but it showed him. All he said was his own name. It looked like he was kind of spinning around in the air in like a little ghost cloud dust. Little, it looked like a little, almost, almost like a little spin jitsu thing, but it wasn't. Um, could that be like an air jitsu thing? I don't know. But Moro. Moro was at the end of episode 44. Obviously a lead off to the next part in the next season of Ninjago later this year.